Hi Dave, thanks Hiya. for letting us come and meet you and look at your house and, and I wondered maybe you could start with explaining about the cavity uh, wall. Yes, well I moved here 12 years ago right. and the surveyor pointed out that well there were holes, three brick rows below the windowsills and right. that said almost certainly that the house was cavity insulated. Yeah. Anyway, so I thought well cavity walls insulating so one, one job done, yeah. excellent. Um, ten years later, I thought, hmm, maybe the cavity wall insulation settled a bit. Let's just get a, get someone round to check that. Oh. And the surveyor who came round said, well, look, not a problem. I can see the job's been done. There's the holes filled yeah. in. Yeah. And um, so don't don't, so don't worry about it on the roof. We went round the back of the house, and he did a double take and looked at the back wall and said, hmm, that wall's not been done. <laughs> So, so the lesson, the lesson yeah, there yeah. is, is check it, check every wall right. because it, someone might have been cutting corners somewhere. So, yeah. so I did um, last year get the um, rear wall um, cavity filled with yeah. the um, polystyrene bead insulation. Okay. So. so this is the um, original cavity wall insulation. It's a, it's a yellow, um, fluffy material. I took the windowsill off, actually to experiment with putting a wider windowsill in in order to deflect heat from the radiator back into the room but accidentally I, I, I discovered that in the cavity the insulation is uh, completely filled it in the center but at both ends the insulation is well it's just not there um, a good well a good hand length and, and more there's um, just empty space there so what I can do is refill that with some suitable insulating material and also um, this radiator is on an external wall, so one of the problems with that is that the um, heat radiated from the radiator goes into the room and also into the wall. And a really easy way to um, uh, mitigate that problem is to put this um, special um, reflective foil behind the radiator. And I bought um, five pieces of this, which is enough to do all the radiators in the house for about £20 and you just um, cut them to size and cut slots so that they sit on the radiator brackets and that reflects the heat back into the room. I noticed that you've got a sloping ceiling um, at the edge of the room here. That's going to be a lot of heat loss in that area because there won't be any insulation between the plaster on this side of the room and the tiles on the outside. There's just no space. No, that's uh -huh. right. Your insulation in the loft will mm -hmm. stop just as the um, ceiling starts to come down. Okay, so, so what could I do about that? Well, you would have to insulate on the inside. And so lose, you'll, some, lose some space. You'll lose some mm -hmm. space, yes. That's the only way. So Anne, you mentioned about the sloping roofs, but what, yeah. why have I got mould spots on here? Well, this is an illustration of the fact that this bit of roof is going to be a lot colder than either this, your wall or your ceiling. And so the moist air in the bathroom will condense out on that piece of ceiling and that's where you get the mould from. Okay, so what could I do to reduce that? Well, my immediate suggestion would be to change your extract fan to a humidity vent fan so that as the humidity goes up in the room it will kick in and extract the air. But in due course I think you should actually think about insulating that piece of ceiling. So, okay, great. So that sounds like yeah. a good a good solution that I can do anyway. But yeah. in terms of insulation, I'd have to add a layer here yes. and then decorate over that. You would. Yes. Okay. Yeah. The loft insulation. Okay. Um, perhaps you could explain. Yes, yeah, so that's several guys at that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. when I moved here, I found a very thin layer of rock wall um, type right. material. What sort of? Oh yeah, that's right. I mean, yeah, varying from several inches to yeah. almost nothing, and it, it was almost dust. The dark wood lower down is the original joist, and I wanted to fill between those to insulate, but I wanted more insulation, so I added this extra. Um, sort of auxiliary joist on top and then behind that is filled with uh, glass fibre insulating material and then I board it over on top to give myself a walking and storage space. And then to add uh, more insulation I decided to use this um, board material so that's 100mm uh, thick and it's got shiny surface on both sides um, which reduces um, heat losses as well and that's laid on top of the floorboards that I'd originally put in and then I've just put some loose fitting boards on top of it so that I can easily remove the material 
if it um, should cause any problem or if a later loft, in, um, loft conversion was required to make this a, a warm rather than a cold space. So, Dave, you must have um, rooms above here. That's right, yeah, yeah. The, the, the bedrooms. Are yeah, above so here. have you thought about insulating these floors because well, it's a huge heat loss here? I think that's a great idea. Yeah, so what, you what, can buy boards that actually do this. Do so you? what material should I use for that? Um, it's, I think it's a Kingspan board mm -hmm. that has a, a soffit um, sort of adhered to the bottom of it, and you can okay. just put them up, um, and it gives you a little bit of a Excellent, so that's a DIY job. Yeah. Fantastic. <laughs> if you're making this room cosy, then mm -hmm. draft stripping, and I notice that you've got um, wall vents from yes. the original construction. So the, the old wall vents um, are unnecessary, and so I've blocked off um, most of those, right. most of those now. Um, you should be careful not to do that and if you yeah. haven't got some trickle vent and that's right, yes, ventilation yeah, in the room. Yeah, yeah. Um, another really simple job that, that you can do in, in half an hour is fitting draft strips under the door. So right. the, the living room um, oh, door okay. over there yeah. and uh, also the bathroom door, I've, I've fitted a, a draft strip there. So that's a great job. You can, you can do that on a yeah. Saturday morning. <laughs> yes, yes, I've, I've, I've done something. So the outside ones are the solar PV and how many kilowatts? So that's uh, just over 2.6 um, right. kilowatt peak system. And in terms of lifestyle, I've sort of learned to use appliances around midday. Right. Because then I'm not actually having yeah. to pay for the electricity that I'm, yeah. that I'm using. And the centre ones are the solar hot water? Yes, in, in the middle of solar hot water, flat plate integrated into the roof. And I had them installed first and I yeah. probably did make a bit of a mistake in not thinking about what I would do with the rest of the roof yeah. space when I had yeah. those put in position. What's your sort of summary of where you're at so far? <laughs> okay, so I'm part way to yeah. getting this house down to a, a lower level of, of energy use, yeah, yeah. but retaining a comfortable environment. So I'm pleased that I've got slightly lower bills than, than I would have otherwise, and right. pleased that it's using slightly less um, energy, so yeah, a lower yeah. carbon lower yeah. carbon footprint. Yeah, but there's, there's lots more to do. The more, the more you learn, <laughs> there's more to do. Sort of, sort yeah, of. But, yeah. you know, I think it's... I think it's important not to be scared by the, the scale of the problem and right. start with something that's um, achievable reasonably quickly, even as a DIY job, like doing the draft strips under the yeah. doors, for example. And once you've done one thing, then you get a bit of energy and yeah. you think, right, yeah. now what can I do? <laughs> yes, it's important to feel, to feel comfortable yeah. as, as, well as, as well as being green. Yeah. <laughs> a house identical to Dave's, without improvements, has an energy performance certificate of E, with potential savings on bills of £1,356 over three years. That's £452 a year. If it's improved to a B, like Dave has achieved, 